Do they still find honor in violence? Yeah, of course, violence is everything. In Kabukicho, one of the classic ways when the Yakuza got in a fight is they'd pick up a bicycle and they'd smash it on someone. Like, you've seen it in the video game? Yes, they do that in real life. The Yakuza. Just hearing this word can send shivers down your spine. This is the name of Japan's most notorious crime organization, a group that has inspired countless movies, stories, and even nightmares. But behind all the myths and whispers are real people. Vain, cunning, and above all, dangerous. Here are the top 12 most dangerous Yakuza members in history. Number 12, Takeshi Kitano. Starting off our list at number 12 is a name that might surprise you, Takeshi Kitano. He is also known as Beat Takeshi. He is better known as a filmmaker, actor, and comedian. So why is he on this list? Well, Kitano has had a heavy influence inside Yakuza circles because of how realistically he portrays Yakuza life in his movies. Although Kitano never directly participated in the Yakuza's criminal activities, his close relationships and the powerful roles he played in films have earned him respect and even fear in Japan's underworld. Sometimes you don't need to be dangerous yourself, it's enough to know the right people. Kitano's movies have shaped how people think about the Yakuza and that influence is powerful in its own right. Number 11, Makoto Sugawara. At number 11, we have Makoto Sugawara, a powerful figure in the Inagawa Kai. This is the third largest Yakuza organization in Japan. Sugawara is a strategist who works behind the scenes, making sure that Inagawa Kai's influence in Tokyo is never challenged. He plays a major role in illegal activities like extortion, gambling, and drug trafficking. What makes Shugawara dangerous is his ability to keep the Inagawakai competitive against the much larger Yamaguchi Gumi. In the dangerous world of organized crime, Shugawara's quiet but deadly approach has made him a force to be reckoned with. His silence speaks louder than words, and his cunning strategies have helped keep his organization strong in a very tough environment. Number 10. Kazuhiko Hirata Next on this list is Kazuhiko Hirata, a high-ranking member of the Yamaguchi Gumi. Hirata's name is associated with blood and violence. As an enforcer, he was responsible for some of the most horrific acts of murder within the syndicate. Handling disputes and eliminating rivals were just part of Hirata's daily routine. Hirata's ruthlessness helped the Yamaguchi Gumi stay on top as Japan's strongest Yakuza group. He wasn't just enforcing the rules, he was defining them. Hirata's brutal actions left both fear and respect in his wake. Whenever there was a problem within the organization, Hirata was often the one called in to solve it, usually through violent means. His reputation for dealing with issues quickly and harshly made him one of the most feared members of the Yamaguchi Gumi. Number 9. Kenichi Yamamoto Now we move on to number 9 where we find Kenichi Yamamoto. Yamamoto wasn't just any Yakuza member, he was a true leader. He created the Yamaken Gumi, a powerful faction within the larger Yamaguchi Gumi. What made Yamamoto truly dangerous was his ability to unify his faction and spread its influence far and wide. Yamamoto's leadership combined brutal enforcement with sharp business decisions. He knew that in the Yakuza, it's not just about muscle power. Strategy is equally important. Number 8, Ryoichi Sugiura. Coming in at number 8 is Ryoichi Sugiura, a central figure in the Sumiyoshi Kai, Japan's second largest Yakuza organization. Sugiura was involved in extortion, drug trafficking, and many other illegal activities. However, what really made him dangerous was his role in turning the Sumiyoshi Kai into an international organization. After he became a leader within the group, Sugiura expanded its reach beyond Japan by forming alliances with other criminal groups around the world. Sugiura's influence didn't just stop at Japan's borders, it extended globally. His ability to operate on an international scale made him a key player in the world of organized crime. Sugira's success in expanding the Sumiyoshi Kai's operations beyond Japan made him one of the most dangerous figures in the Yakuza. His actions helped solidify the Sumiyoshi Kai's position as a major force in the global underworld. Number 7. Hirofumi Hashimoto 
At number 7 we have Hirofumi Hashimoto from the Sumiyoshi Kai. Hashimoto's rule was characterized by strategic brilliance and cold-blooded efficiency. Under his leadership, the Sumiyoshi Kai emerged as a strong rival to the much larger Yamaguchi Gumi. Hashimoto knew how to play the long game, increasing his organization's influence while avoiding the spotlight. Hashimoto was a master at navigating the dangerous waters of the Yakuza world. He was able to expand his organization's reach without attracting too much attention from law enforcement, which is no small feat in the world of organized crime. His ability to successfully lead the Sumiyoshi Kai through turbulent times made him one of the most dangerous Yakuza leaders in history. Number 6. Takeshi Ebisawa Coming in at number 6 is Takeshi Ebisawa, an influential member of the Yamaguchi Gumi. Ebisawa's game was international drug trafficking, with operations stretching from Southeast Asia all the way to the United States. His reach and ability to connect with criminal organizations around the world made him a significant threat on the global stage. When it came to moving drugs and making connections, Ebisawa was second to none. He was a key figure in expanding the Yamaguchi Gumi's drug trafficking operations. His ability to evade law enforcement for a long time made him a highly dangerous individual. It seems his luck ran out in February 2024. Uh, Takeshi Ebisawa was accused of selling uranium and pluton plutonium, which he believed would be used to build a nuclear bomb. The nuclear samples, which came from Myanmar, were seized by the Thai authorities, where he showed them to an undercover U.S. agent who was uh, posing as a drug and weapons trafficker. Ibisawa's influence extended far beyond Japan, and his actions had a major impact on the global drug trade. His ability to operate on such a large scale made him one of the most dangerous Yakuza members in history. Number 5. Kenichi Shinoda At number 5 is Kenichi Shinoda, better known as Shinobu Tsukasa. As the current leader of the Yamaguchi Gumi, Shinoda is a name that commands both respect and fear. Through strategic alliances and violent enforcement, Shinoda has kept his organization's power intact. His leadership has ensured that the Yamaguchi Gumi remains at the top, even as law enforcement efforts against organized crime have increased. Shinoda is a master at balancing tradition with modernity. He understands the importance of maintaining the Yakuza's traditional values, such as loyalty and honor, while also adapting to the changing world of crime. But if you were to see him out in public, you would be forgiven for thinking he was just a regular celebrity. Under Shinoda's leadership, the Yamaguchi Gumi has continued to evolve, staying one step ahead of law enforcement. Shinoda's ability to keep the Yamaguchi Gumi strong and united during challenging times makes him one of the most dangerous Yakuza leaders in history. Number 4. Kazuo Taoka Coming in at number 4, we have the legendary Kazuo Taoka, often referred to as the godfather of the Yakuza. Taoka was the leader of the Yamaguchi Gumi from the 1940s until his death in the 1980s. During his time as leader, Taoka expanded the Yamaguchi Gumi into Japan's largest and most powerful Yakuza syndicate. Taoka's success was due to his unique mix of brutality and political savvy. He wasn't just a violent leader, he was also a strategic thinker who knew how to expand his organization's influence across Japan. If his memorial service is anything to go by, Kazuo Taoka was honored by many. <laughs> Taoka's legacy still lives on within the Yakuza today, and his impact on the organization is undeniable. His ability to keep the Yamaguchi Gumi united and powerful for decades makes him one of the most dangerous figures in Yakuza history. Number 3. Yoshinori Watanabe At number 3 we have Yoshinori Watanabe who took over the leadership of the Yamaguchi Gumi after Kazuo Taoka's death. Watanabe was a ruthless leader who ruled with an iron fist, even as law enforcement agencies were rapidly closing in on him. Watanabe wasn't just a leader. He was a tactician who guided the Yamaguchi Gumi through some of its most challenging times. Watanabe's ability to adapt and thrive in a constantly changing world made him a very dangerous and influential figure in Yakuza history. He was able to keep the Yamaguchi Gumi strong despite increased pressure from law enforcement, 
and his leadership helped the organization remain at the top of Japan's criminal underworld. Watanabe's legacy is one of strength, resilience, and cunning, making him one of the most dangerous Yakuza leaders of all time. Number 2. Tadamasa Goto At number 2, we have Tadamasa Goto, the former head of the Goto Gumi, a faction of the Yamaguchi Gumi. Goto's reputation is one of extreme violence and ruthless ambition. Dubbed the John Gotti of Japan, Goto was involved in everything from extortion to drug trafficking. His willingness to use brutal force to achieve his goals made him one of the most feared Yakuza members in history. Goto was known for his absolute disregard for human life in the pursuit of power. His actions were driven by a desire to climb the ranks of the Yakuza, no matter what it took. Goto's name became synonymous with fear and for good reason. He was feared for his complete and utter ruthlessness, which made him one of the most powerful figures in the Yakuza. That is why his next career move came as a complete shock. It is believed that after his expulsion from the Yamaguchi Gumi, Goto entered the Buddhist priesthood with the Nam Chue. Number 1. Matsuda Kodo Finally, at number 1, we have the most dangerous Yakuza member in history, Matsuda Kodo. Kodo wasn't just a regular member of the Yamaguchi Gumi. He was one of its most notorious enforcers. Kodo's job was simple, enforce the rules no matter the cost. His brutal enforcement, which often involved assassinations and violent retributions, made him a living nightmare within the Yakuza. Kodo's actions weren't just about keeping order, they were about instilling fear. Even today, the name Kodo is spoken in whispers, a testament to the terror he inspired. Kodo's reputation for violence and his ability to keep the Yamaguchi Gumi in line through fear and brutality make him the most dangerous Yakuza member in history. For decades, the Yakuza has been a dark and influential force in Japan, and these 12 men played a key role in shaping its legend. Through violence, strategy, and cold ruthlessness, they left their mark not only on the Yakuza but also on the annals of worldwide organized crime. Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful, please like and share it, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, let us know in the comments who you think was the most dangerous Yakuza member. Until next time, stay curious and stay safe.